science uh, paper, two, which is chemistry B1 question. The following diagram shows the changes of state in the three states of matter. We have solid, gas, and liquid there. The changes are A, B, C. Describe the arrangement of particles in a solid. They are saying describe the arrangement of particles, not how they move, not how they, they are, how they are arranged. C straightforward. Solid, so in solids, particles are what? Particles are what? Closed what? Packed with the no spaces or or very few spaces. All right, we we'll say this between the particles. Liquids. In liquids, the particles are what? Loosely. Particles are loosely what? Uh, arranged. In, in a disordered way. Or say manner. They, they, they are closed packed with no space between them, and here they only vibrate at a fixed position. That is in a solid, right? In a liquid, particles don't vibrate. Instead, they are in a disordered manner, and they can move about. State the name of the change of state labeled A and B. The change of state labeled A from th th that is from liquid to what? Uh, to gas. That is what? Evaporation. Or can you say vaporization? B from liquid to what? To solid. That is what? Freezing. Or can you say solidification? Which changes of state A or B is exothermic? Now, to, a, a process is said to be exothermic if it releases heat to the water, to the surrounding. Now, A or B, which one is releasing heat to the surrounding? You discover that when a liquid is changing from a uh, liquid itself to what? To gas, it gains heat so that the bonds are broken. But when a liquid ch ch changes straight to solid, it loses heat so that the particles can come to uh, what? Together. So this is exothermic, actually. Well, this is endothermic. So, which one is exothermic? B. It's simple because process B loses or can say emits heat to the surrounding. So that the particles can come together. Can come what? Rose. Thank you.